Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to the North Star Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. This channel is usually to do mostly with what is happening with our heart spaces. So that can be plutonic love, self-love, romantic love, take it as it resonates. Um, the energy that is coming through at the moment is deep regret. Um, I must say, if you are a new place, welcome in. It's so good to see you. It's so good to have you here. I hope you enjoy the ride because usually there is a bit of a wild ride with my readings. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, soul family. It's good to have you here. Get yourself comfortable, get your tea, get your coffee, get your snacks, get yourself comfy and let's begin. Now I'm going to be burning a little bit of sage because I feel like at the moment as we go through Mercury retrograde, and yes, this is a collective timeless reading, even if you watch this when it's not Mercury retrograde, there seems to be a heaviness when it comes to a transformation that someone's going through so the need to cleanse to constantly be cleansing it doesn't have to be that other people are sending energy towards you or to the collective it can just be a transformation that we're going through that can be difficult because when we are letting go of the old to let in the new it means letting go of what we know and leaping into the darkness doesn't it and there's definitely the um this energy of understanding that there is an ending or a cycle has ended and there's someone there's someone here that doesn't want the ending but they don't want to make the effort to create a new beginning is what i'm getting um which is very very sad i feel like um this energy coming through is somebody who is on the brink of tears now that could be you you could have gone through something really you know something really heavy and if you need to cry cry seriously but if this is not you this is i'm getting past energy or somebody who somebody who wants someone in the collective to wait for them but they're not putting they're not actively putting the effort in to heal themselves and healing is one it's not linear and two it takes time it takes time no one should be rushing to heal to be on the same level as someone our paths are our paths and so i think someone here is realizing that they are never i heard they're never going to be good enough and i feel like this is a mother wound or a father wound that they haven't healed and they're hiding from and i don't say that with criticism at all at all um sorry my hair was a little bit hat hairy i'm going to be using this also this is um dragon's blood and sage i think it's dragon's blood and sage yeah, yep, it is, it is, it is. I love the smell. I love the smell. I had deep cleansing. Somebody's definitely um purging something. It's maybe coming to the realization that, you know, things can't stay the same, I heard. They can't stay the same. Things have to change. They have to. And sometimes it's painful going through a transformation. It's more painful when we kind of push against it. When we resist change, when we resist change, that change becomes the most arduous thing that we can do. Whereas when we surrender to it, it becomes the easiest flow to, to kind of go with, if that makes sense. It's almost like a fish, um, a fish swimming upstream and wondering why there's a struggle when they could just go with all the rest. Okay, now I'm going to be uh, ringing my lady bell. So if you have sound sensitivity, please turn down your volume now. And I literally have the energy of like um, that sadness when you know when it's welling up and it could be you're watching something on TV that really catches you or it could be someone said something or you've just uh, broken up with someone or like, ended up, the end of a job or end of something and you're having to get through your day. You still have to, um, even if you're doing it on automatic, you still have to go to work or you still have to look after the kids or you still have to do this or you still have to do that. And so you're trying to push this energy down and keep it, keep it just here if you can. And that there's that energy of wanting to take it and just put it in a pocket and put it, lock it away and come back to it. I heard never. Someone here is trying to repress, repress, repress. And they may have been repressing something for so long because this isn't just the ending of like a relationship or the ending of the hope of a relationship. I feel like for someone here, it's the understanding that it's the ending of something in their life and they have to grow up or they have to emotionally mature or they have to they, they have to take responsibility for something and it's painful 
And my heart goes out to whoever this is because that energy of wanting to kind of take it out of their heart space, ball it all up, throw it away, put it in their pocket, hide from it, they can't. So it's slowly building and building and building and I can feel it on the back of my throat here. Like if this, if someone was to go, dude, are you okay? Or do that, are you okay? He, she, they, are you okay? This person's gonna start bawling. They, they literally don't want to make eye contact with anyone, like, at all. Don't look at me, don't speak to me, nothing. Yeah. So, trigger warning, if you are feeling like this, please know that it's okay not to be okay. We're spiritual beings having a human experience, and we are here to feel the, the whole range of emotions, okay? There's no... I do not endorse um, toxic positivity, having to smile all the time, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. No, we need to be able to navigate our shadow. We need to be able to illuminate the parts that need to be illuminated at our own pace. But if you're finding that you are drowning in that shadow or that you're finding that it, the darkness is too dark and you're not, you haven't got the light at the moment, please reach out. Please reach out to those that can help you, that can support you. And if you do not have a support network, please reach out to your doctor. Please reach out to a therapist. Know that my readings are confirmation and clarity of what you already intuitively know. They are for entertainment purposes only, but the energy that I'm picking up on is quite heavy and um, I am not a doctor. I am not a therapist. I'm not a lawyer. I am not a mental health nurse. Anything that comes up like this, if this feels emotionally triggering for you, either pause this video, don't watch the video if you're you know, in a place where you actually don't feel grounded to, and or ensure that you are getting advice from those that can give you the right professional advice and support before taking any advice from here, from me, from spirit, from any tarot reader, okay? Um, I have to put that in there. And if you are feeling like this, I do send you lots of love, okay? Irrespective of the reason why you're feeling like that, because I know sometimes with readings, it can come out that there's one person who's karmic and they're stuck in a cycle and there's other person that's healed from this and it's black and white and there's no gray in between. When really, um, if someone is feeling like this, irrespective of what's going on outside of that, my heart goes out to you, okay, because I am I can feel this. I'm feeling someone's absolute oblivion of sadness, of grief. It's that the rec it's recognising that the tower has hit. <sighs> Eight of Swords. And they're trapped in this emotion. They're trapped in this feeling like this is the King of Wands. And the Six of Cups. So this could be someone from the past. I had passed the point of no return. I feel like crying. I feel like it's coming out of my nose. I can feel it just wanting to the Emotions are running, flipping high, you guys. Very high. Someone's very much trapped in their mind. They can be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You have fire sign here as well. This could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Look at me learning all of my signs. My goodness. And you also have water signs. I'm saying that. Um, Scorpio, uh, Pisces. What's the other water sign? Sorry, I can't remember them all. Cancer. Six of Cups. This is very much connecting into like a family wound or a wounding here. This person may have been always having this wounding and I don't know if whatever this ending is for them is bringing that to the forefront you have the knight of swords things that they wish they had said that they didn't king of pentacles to the knight of swords this is almost like I don't know if this is a failed attempt at happiness abundance or blocking some sort of finances this person's blocked themselves or they feel blocked or there's a failed business of some sort I feel like this person feels like they wish they could have collaborated or, or done something differently when it comes to business. King of Cups is coming out, Knight of Wands in reverse, uh, Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. So you have here Knight of Wands. They've blocked themselves or they feel blocked. They feel maybe they've been ghosted completely and they understand that there is no pushing through this barrier. It's done. Whoever it is that they treated, I'm getting they treated somebody unjustly or they feel they're understanding now that they have or however they were painting themselves in a picture was not true. And it was the opposite. And they kind of know this. 
or they're coming to understand this because you've got the king of cups here this person's heart is so full they're now realizing um they have love of their life you may be the love of their life. Someone in the collective, they may may realise there was a, a, a deep soul connection of some sort. Or they wanted there to be a deep soul connection. Maybe in, they're looking back in hindsight and realising what they actually blocked. With that Knight of Wands in reverse to the Six of Cups, they're looking nostalgically now and they're kind of trapped in the past. And that Eight of Swords, they just keep replaying maybe inc incidences, how they acted. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, something about either gambling too much, taking too much of someone else's energy, abundance of their time, of their love, of their essence. I want to say um, their effort, but I heard essence to the Ten of Swords, to the detriment. It's because it helped this King of Wands in some way. Why did it help this? Why did it help this this King of Wands? How did it help them? Clarity, please. This person may have addictions or addictive personality. They may drink too much. They may smoke too much. They may gamble, like I said. They may just have, they may have anger issues or there's something that they are chained to when it comes to the past. And again, I'm getting like father issues or abandonment issues. And I feel this sadness welling up in me again. And I heard they did you dirty or they did someone dirty. Because look, you've got the Queen of Wands in reverse. And there's this, there's a relationship here that they feel that they effed up knight of wands to the queen of wands this person blocked they were there's something here about being immature death in reverse page of wands knight of cups they still miss you this person misses you or they miss someone in the collective they're looking back at, there's something here about, I feel like there's some sort of jealousy. There was jealousy in a relationship or there was competitiveness in a relationship. And I'm getting this as a romantic relationship. I don't really get that this is like a friendship or this is family. I feel like this is an ex of some sort. Page of Wands. And this person may be a bit, they are a little bit immature. Three of Swords, this is healing, Nine of Wands. They know that you are you are going off onto other things. And I mean as in your, your path, you've closed a door or on the chapter and this is still open for them. It's like an open wound for them. Um, and I feel like this person may be numbing how they feel i feel like they've numbed themselves for a very long time. They may have numbed how they felt in the relationship when they were in a relationship with someone in the collective. They may have um not realized how i heard either beautiful and i'm not talking about the way that you look it was your energy and how many chances you gave this person or how patient you were with this person or how accommodating you were with this person and how they took advantage of this and they're feeling really sad there is also this energy of I've just looked at this message cards with 555 and it says um, twin flame guidance. This person may be, look, you've got the emperor in reverse. This person may not understand what a twin flame is or they may feel like there was a deep connection. This may have been like a soulmate connection. It doesn't have to be a twin flame or a higher level soulmate, but there was a soul connection. And I feel someone has um, completed some sort of lesson that they needed to learn in this cycle with this person. This person is now learning this. They may be, I don't know if this person is starting to see the, the bigger picture. And you've got justice in reverse. You've got emperor in, rever in reverse to the ace of wands. This person is still, like you've got the lovers coming out. They're very, very upset. They're very upset. Page of wands is someone who is adventurous, spontaneous, a little bit irresponsible though. And I feel like they're looking back at pop, at memories within uh, the relationship and at looking at where they were childish or where they took advantage of someone in the collective whether that be um that someone in the collective was the breadwinner and it doesn't have to be that but i feel like they were training someone in some way 
they were purposely it's almost like um weaponized incompetence oh i can't do that i don't know how to do that when they they could try and they didn't bother but you've got the knight of cups here as well this person wanted to come forward with some sort of romantic gesture but they're fully aware like i said that um you or the person you're thinking of whoever this is in the collective has healed they've moved forward nine of wands they are guarded towards this energy they do not want this person on their path the queen of wands in reverse to the knight of wands this is complete and utter shutdown blockage this person um they feel like this is a punishment they i don't know if this person's in trouble with the law now the emperor to the ace of wands so look i honestly feel like this person also um they cannot bear to think of someone in the collective with somebody else they cannot bear to think of someone in the collective with someone else and knowing that there is somebody who is more balanced or more emotionally mature and emotionally self-aware or self-regulated that's going to be coming in instead six of wands to the three of cups they were hoping they were really hoping to be able to celebrate something with you or with someone in the collective you've got the five of pentacles over so they know there's no hope they literally know there's no hope let me get a different deck wow we this is some heavy energy i'm sorry if you're going through this i really really am sorry if you're going through this the thing is though this sounds like someone's going through their saturn return mercury retrograde may be really hitting this person hard it could be hitting you hard as well yeah look you've got divine feminine in reverse and you've also got union in reverse they may have wanted to marry this person but there's some sort of illusion or delusion here when it comes to marriage because they wanted the stability that came with the union of this person from the collective but they didn't want to put the effort into grow or heal and it's not so much grow or heal the relationship it was grow and heal themselves because that devil card coming out is really shouting out to me and you've got candles and fulfillment and then you've got incubation and it's still there this person they want to reach out i feel like they have been blocked they either blocked you or you blocked them and if they blocked you or they blocked someone in the collective, when they went to unblock this person, they realised that they had now been blocked also. And there's no way of them be I had there's no take backsies. They may have wanted to have a child, or you may share a child. They may want to have a child with you. They may have knowledge of I'm really sorry for this is trigger warning. This is about um terminations when it comes to pregnancies or miscarriages so if you find that very sensitive if you have been through that right now i would fast forward or i would come away from this video okay trigger warning this is what i'm going to be highlighting right now be aware someone here um there was definitely candle magic that was done to um either make someone feel like they have a false pregnancy or to lose a pregnancy Someone may have lost a pregnancy in this relationship. Um, and I feel like this person was giving information to someone around them, a feminine energy around them. And I don't know if this is just like gossip or them kind of... Um, I'm getting gossip. They were talking to an ex or a friend, a feminine friend. And either unbeknownst to them or they knew was doing some sort of candle magic but it wasn't what this this person thought it was and they may have asked for help with something i don't know if this is them asking for like a sweetening spell to bring the two of you together more or a, a shut up spell to stop i had to stop you nagging or something along those lines and whoever it is that they were they were talking to did was very i don't know why this person was very jealous you've got chalice in reverse this is all to do with um archangel Raphael, which is the healer magician it's to do with your mental body but it's connected to your emotions 
And I still feel like this person's on the verge of tears. They know that they may have been given information. They may have been given a confession that actually this person that they thought was helping them out and listening to them was actually doing the opposite. That they were actually doing spell work to either separate you guys, um, to do something to their mental health or to your mental health and definitely someone's physical health when it comes to a pregnancy of some sort. This person is so sad. And I'm really, do you know what? I'm really sorry. So look at that and you've got altar coming out with dedication. If you have lost, you know, if you have an angel baby or um, you've been trying to get pregnant and you couldn't with that person or anything along those lines, my heart goes out to you. And I know no one wants pity and I'm not pitying you. I'm sending you love and empathy. Okay. Um, but there's definitely, there was, there's definitely something afoot. And this person, this is why they feel so sad because there's guilt in here as well. There's a lot of guilt, which is hat and power. You have someone here and you've got security upside down. You have a feminine energy, like a third party who was jealous. And I heard about money though. So I don't know who the breadwinner was in this relationship, but they were jealous of money, either you achieving and bringing in money or this person bringing in money and sharing it with you and they wanted it themselves oh my goodness what energy yeah this is very very intense very intense my goodness This person may have lost quite a lot, especially if they are there's something going on with the law and housing and union. You may have been their security. And you've got masculine Lord God and security. They did something to remove your security. I feel like they did something that was very petty, especially with this page of ones coming out with the childishness. Wiccan Reed and Lord God. And that's the thing. Everything that was sent towards you. Be that in the physical realm with something to do with the courts. Or be that magical. It was just... With this Lord God and Masculine, it was blown away. Or it was cleansed. Or it was sent back with love. Because you've got the Wiccan Reed coming out here with... By the Wiccan law ye must. In perfect love, in perfect trust. Eight words the Wiccan Reed fulfil. And ye harm, no, ye harm none, do as ye will. And never mind the rule of three, what ye send out comes back to thee. Follow this with mind and heart, and merry ye meet, and merry ye part. It was just sent back. It was literally and actionably sent back. Because look, you've got homecoming. There was definitely a separation spell that was done. I don't know if this person knew it the first. Yeah, look, this issue with money. A lot to do with money and removing someone from having security. This person may have not known at the start what was happening, but I do feel at some point they were made aware because you've got intention coming out here with magic. There was intention placed. Autumn. And uh, yeah, there's something here about ensuring that either a pregnancy didn't go ahead or ensuring that because it doesn't have to be just a pregnancy it literally can be the growth of something the empress energy which is very auspicious it's very um abundant there was a blockage put in here to someone's sacral chakra to their womb to their seed to their creativity you've got boundaries and earth this is what i mean by that they've done this to someone who was very sweet natured they did this to somebody in the collective who was very, very sweet natured because you've got here with grounding. This energy was just grounded or this energy was given up to God or to Allah, to Vishnu, to oneness of all. There's, like, there's no bad bone in this person's body in the collective. And this person is, they're, they're physically crying over realising what they did to who could have been the love of their life because of income, because of something to do with your work or with your fame. Capricorn seems to be very important at the moment. You do have somebody who is, I heard, a, a lower level witch or somebody who did not like how powerful you are 
or your connection to divinity, your connection to abundance. And when I say empress energy, that's irrespective of gender of he, she or they, because empress energy, we all hold it. We all hold emperor and, and empress energy. They couldn't get into your boundaries and they didn't like this. They didn't like your stability, but you've got earth signs coming out again. Virgo, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Summer. And spell. They did something over the summer. They've been using this, the moon cycles to try and unbalance you, to try and make someone homeless. Mm. Now this person is in. Oh, we've got cards that are supposed to be there. Look, they've got signs around them. You've got authenticity and handwriting and then omen in reverse. This person has done so. I heard perjury. Perjury. The past returns for a time. This is what I mean by they're in trouble with the law and they're crying now. They're literally crying. This person wants to reach out so badly. But they know that that door is closed. That you're not interested or someone in the collective is just not interested. And it's not even like, well, F you. It's I'm healing from this. I'm healing from the experience that I had. I am looking for the lessons within what it was why the you know the divine put us two together because i do get that there was codependency here and the thing is as well is that when one person's codependent if the other person stays in that relationship then they're encouraging that codependency and that's not to point fingers at people because i was in a relationship with like that and that was my mother wound of people pleasing other people and losing my identity to find value by making myself small i am not in any way shape or form pointing the finger and going you did blah 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 we just have to take accountability for how we show up in relationships and someone here is doing this somebody here is showing up for themselves and going okay so this was the lesson if this person was co you know codependent or narcissistic or gaslighting these were my wounds and this is why i stayed and this is this is where i needed to heal and they're going through this and they've closed that door that energetic door also that mental door that emotional door and just been like i wish you well but you've got nothing to do with me now i'm not going to worry about you i'm not going to be gaslit into worrying about what you're doing you do you i'm going to do me and i'm going this way i'm going up i'm shining bright you do whatever you need to do and this person's realized this and they've realized what a mess they've put themselves in because i do feel like whatever they were doing physically because there's some sort of co-conspirating going on over here with a female friend or a feminine energy friend, someone who's low vibing, very gossipy. And I just heard a Satan worshiper. That's gonna be for a small select few. <sighs> Shady. This person's realizing that they were duped in some way or whatever they did for money wasn't worth it because they may have stolen money or finances or something going on here. And that nature in reverse with Ogham or Ogham. I don't know if this this dark witch over here uses Ogham. I don't know if I'm saying that right or Ogham. It's almost like they're like runes, um, but they're Irish or Celtic runes. And handwriting with all them, authenticity and the past returns for our time. This could be this person's Saturn return. And they're realizing and they need to heal. Because I am Carly from Death Comes Rebirth. You are rebirthing from this. You are growing from this. Oh, what went to come out? Yeah, emotions are running high in the world. <sighs> oh my goodness. And Capricorn, Capricorn's coming out again. You've got a Capricorn in their feelings. You've got a Capricorn knowing that there's no communication that's going to come through. They have been blocked completely. Dedication to achieve, focusing on, resulting from the rules imposed by. They've been blocked, they've been completely blocked, and they are so in their feelings. And you've also got a Sagittarius here. So this is a fire sign and an earth sign. Your highest ideals, the rules of get it out into the world, and Ghost people and the past returns for a time. They're realising they've been left in the past. But I heard by everyone, look at this, they may have been kicked out of a house. They may have been kicked out of a house. They wanted someone to feel unstable. Yeah, attempting offer has a high price. Whatever they did had a very, very high price. Invasion, boundaries violated and dominance. 
every single thing that was sent has been sent back. So I don't know what's happening to this dark witch because this dark witch also, this person, they risked something. They may have been kicked out of their home. Oh, geez. So whoever this dark witch is and this ex, they were working together doing something, but they may have lost their home because they weren't able to get into someone's boundaries because this person's boundaries were way too solid, way too pure and way too divine. And those people, so whatever they were trying to send, it didn't work. It didn't work. Anything that they did in the past is now coming back to haunt them. Because look, they wanted someone not to heal. And all of this energy that was project projected towards this earth angel has just been grounded. Or it was given up to someone's guides, to someone's, you know, protectors, and was sent back in due time. Exactly, the past returns for a time. And your sensuality is beautiful. So they were trying to... It's almost like they... I don't know who it was, whether it was the dark witch or this ex. They were trying to attach something, and it comes back to this sacral chakra energy. Because I did get this energy draining thing over here. And it's been returned. It's been sent back. Count your blessings. They've got no blessings to count now because you don't miss anyone. You don't miss them. You've learned what you needed to learn. You've moved on. That soul contract's gone. Look, you're at peace. And if you're not feeling that yet, you're about to. You're going into that. Or someone here in the collective is moving away from that drama or moving away from that cycle and especially if you have someone here who is covertly kind of narcissistic and i'm not saying that they are uh i'm not diagnosing anyone with mpd because i'm not a therapist but someone who is co no convert i can't speak this i can't speak this person is just speechless but somebody who is covertly narcissistic in manipulating other people to do things for them it's almost like that energy of I'm going to go out and see my friends. Oh, you're going to leave me. Oh, what about me? What am I going to do? Well, you can come out if you want. No, I don't want to go out. I want to stay in. I thought we we're going to stay in and we were going to watch blah, blah, blah. No, I told you I'm going out with... Oh, oh, really? Okay, you just leave me here. That's up to you. Fine. Fine. Whatever. Fine. And getting that person and just stay with them. It's a form of control. It's, it's gaslighting. It's manipulation. That's the energy of this person. Constantly being the victim. And this person... <sighs> someone here has moved away from that energy or has seen the energy for what it is and gone do you know what i was allowing them to do that to me i don't need to do that anymore this is what i where i'm healing and i'm moving away from this person and i don't miss this person because that person was actually pushing me down and dimming my light and i'm, I'm coming to peace with that i'm going to pour love into myself rather than being angry and it's not saying that you're not you're not valid for being angry if you're at that point where you are feeling angry i'm just saying that whoever this is that resonates with this has gone past the anger they've gone past that they may be in the grieving stage or they may have gone past that grieving stage and got to a point of neutrality where they're like Do you know what i'm still processing this but i no longer feel anger or sadness towards this person i'm past that i'm now going on to a new phase of my life wish like i said i wish them well but i'm I, i'm locking that door there's no energetic connection to this person anymore and they feel it they literally feel it look breaking dawn they feel it they feel the disconnect because it says here collision of belief styles attitudes and energies but it's upside down because it, it's gone and they know and they've been left out in the cold anything else look at that look at that voodoo back off and you've got here time for a change to learn something new to use technology and gadgets with wisdom and from death comes rebirth this has literally been sent back on their backs both of them that this isn't just an ex that's been um made homeless i feel like whoever this person is that they were working with this feminine energy this jealous energy this i want your energy energy this person is feeling the effects of their own magic they're feeling the effects of their own magic they may be crying as well they may be feeling carly ma so they may actually have carly ma on their team and look at her hand. Look how small her hand is. Just like, you know. But then look what she's got around her neck. She does not need to use a lot of force 
to do what she needs to do because Carly is both the giver of life and the destroyer of life. She is both light and dark. She only needs to lift her finger to remove obstacles and she's removed an obstacle from someone's fourth house. And this is not just an obstacle from someone's fourth house. This is also, especially as we had that energy of Archangel Raphael coming up in reverse, the mental body, which is connected into the emotions. She has helped to remove, and if it's not Kali Ma, there's another feminine energy, very big, very vast, very strong, that has removed some sort of perception or illusion or manipulation that connects the emotional body and the mental body. Whether it's I'm not good enough or I can only find value if I do X, Y and Z and how we kind of over complicate with our thoughts and then tap it that how that's connected into our emotions. She's removed something and she sent it back. Look, blue, 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 all to do with your throat chakra. This has been sent back. And I don't know if somebody um there's something about your affirmations or the gratitude that you give on a daily basis or frequently that is being heard. It's been heard, and look at that, that's a four there, two and two, and that's a four there. I heard your forefathers, stability is coming in, stability is coming in. There's massive, massive blocks happening for these people here, because of what they've done. Because what they try to do to block something for coming in for you or someone in the collective. Clean up time. They've blocked their root chakras. They've blocked their own stability. Please don't lose hope. And they have absolutely lost hope. How very sad for them. And I actually genuinely mean that. How very sad. Why are you trying to take someone else's blessings when you can just create your own by healing? And I heard it wasn't meant to last. This was Whoever this person was was supposed to be a lesson so that we could have growth. And that was it. Two-faced friend. Whoever this ex is is realising how two-faced the people are around them, but also how two-faced they are. This is a massive wake-up call for this person. You should accept valid criticism and it's upside down. This person can't. They can't bear to look at what they've done excitement why is the excitement doing something risky taking a chance because they were really excited at the time so they got kind of like um carried away with what they were doing behind your back or someone in the collective's back now they got caught out for it this is indecisive allow indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly excitement this person lived for the moment it's almost like when you think of a child and how they when they're in present they're presently just looking and focusing on the one thing that they're doing. They don't see the world around them. This is more or less like this. these two, what they were like or what they're doing. That's what I mean by there being a lot of immaturity coming from one or both of them. Doing something risky and taking a chance. Anything else that needs to come out? I'm hearing that song by, um, is it Pink Panthress? The boys are liar. The boy's a liar. The boy's a liar. Oh no. Okay, I'll grab that in one second. Anything else before I go, please and thank you. We've got months of the year. May. So in April and May they were doing something and January. Something's come into fruition in um January. It says karma, you will reap what you have sown. And compliment from an compliments from an admirer. So this person is this person is trying to get through to you. And I had keep them blocked. Keep them blocked. Seriously, family matters is upside down. So I don't know if this is an ex with their ex, or if this is an ex with someone who has a child with that person. And February, January and February, things are gonna come to light. Okay, with family matters coming out here. And final period of frustration lessons to be learned. See, 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 see. And star, guaranteed success. Now that you have moved on from this person, there is going to be success for you. Seek out information that will help you. And let me just see the one that fell on the floor. Eve. 
And we've got here and work achievement and success. So this is almost like an obstacle or an energy or a person that had to be removed before success. And I'm hearing financial gain could come in for you, like really come in for you. Because this person was draining. They were it was like that I feel like they were funneling money or they were funneling something behind your back. Before I go, because that's the thing, I thought this would be the ending of the reading, and it's like, no, no, no. What were they funneling? What were they, what exactly were they doing behind the collective's back? What is this about finances? What were they doing? Tell your friends your goals, and it's upside down. And then music is what you need. But tell your friends your goals. They were telling, there's a lot of secrets, or kind of like when you tell people things in confidence, any kind of things that you were talking to about this to this partner was going back and telling an ex of theirs or a baby mama or something along those lines. That's what I'm getting. A new beginning or even a new life may be blooming. Waxing moon, now's a good time to focus on achieving your own personal goals. They were working to, to stop you from some sort of creative endeavour or figuring out what they were doing. What were they doing that was illegal? What were they doing that was illegal? Can we get some clarity on that, please? A little bit more clarity. Clarity, please. Libra. Avoid making serious decisions and instead focus on creating harmony within your relationships. They didn't want you to know. They really had their barrier up. Think new, see fresh. Embrace imperfect, colour with crayons. Leave room for whimsy. This was to do with children. This was all to do with children. So they may have had a child together. So what were they trying to do? Think bigger. It is time. Slow something down when it comes to finances over children. What were they doing with children and money? Children and money. Children and money. They were trying to fleece someone. Get out of your own way. One small change. And moon in Scorpio. Negative attitudes and fiery arguments are possible at this time. Channel your energies into pos positive physical activities like decorating and gardening. Remain sensitive to others to avoid confrontation. I feel like there was some sort of like um, maybe benefit fraud going on. Spend time with family or helping others. Avoid situations that can be a drain on your emotions. There was some sort of benefit fraud going on when it came to children. Be aware of indulging in negative or depressive tendencies. I feel like there's more going on here than meets the eye because it keeps showing me my cards about kids, about children. Tell me about um, what was going on with money. Someone, they were lying about money. Someone here was lying about the mo money that they had. Look, the granting of blessings from and good fortune. Someone may have been lying about how much money they were getting from benefits, especially if you weren't working. And then they were keeping the money or they kept something going in your name and they've had to give that up. They've had to give that up. They were sharing something with this person. I put that the right way. I don't know if someone was pretending to be you. Pluto, resurrect to get to the heart of do or die you must. They, I don't know what's going on here with money. There's definitely something fraudulent going on. What's the fraudulent thing that was going on with this ex, please? What's the fraudulent thing when it comes to money? Woman holding the heart. Envy. Fourth house. Saturn. This is. This was either housing. There's something here about taking out a claim on housing when it comes to money and we've got four four fours coming out everywhere okay woman holding a heart four four on top of there fourth in the fourth house what makes you feel secure support your home and family base or home base and family envy in, ret in return in reverse and saturn be realistic about be concerned about you must wait before you can and emotions are running high so this person's very 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 stressed about money they feel like they should have stayed with you before you made bank is what I heard. They're now realising you're on the up and up in some way. Look, you've got a contract here. And luck is on your side. 
some sort of oh my gosh yes exactly contract is in reverse luck is in your side this person owes a lot of money or they have to pay back a lot of money because they lied about benefits or government something daughter spirit is closed and prosperity lies ahead liberation when you moved away from this person it's bringing in more finances for you and i think they may know this they did something in may and april that you don't know about in your name you may want to look into that if that resonates for you we've got liberation that comes down to a 10 angel of love this person's gutted though and you've got his strategy, caring connections and daughter personal healing and happiness. This person though, and I don't know if this is the ex or if this is the person that they are kind of conspiring with, is very petty. They're trying to strategize or they were trying to strategize in how to, um, to sabotage some sort of relationship to make themselves feel better. Seriously. My goodness. The idolization of confusion regarding and sacrifice. Exactly. They wanted... They wanted, someone here wanted you to, to sacrifice, um, which comes back to like, I don't know if you had like a hobby on the side or they didn't want you to work or something along those lines. They wanted to be the whole focus. And you've got daughter romance. This person's going to be really gutted when someone actually comes in for you that is right for you. Because this person's a little bit obsessed with your energy or thinking about you patience what are they impatient about i feel like it's this person down here they're impatient about something they were supposed to get a payout or they done something in your name that was supposed to pay out by now they they done some sort of moon moon magic cosmic power this is all to do with children affecting your infecting your inner child or affecting your womb or affecting your ability to have children why aries energies to meet the challenge of your desires regarding resulting from the honesty and strength of and then you've got intuition in reverse this person's very much in competition with you you've got a man holding the heart and step out of your comfort zone your commitment is being tested so you've got the man holding the heart you've got the woman holding the heart and you've got to step out of your comfort zone i feel like this this uh witch down here has been reading your energy and they knew that after your ex, you'd be meeting someone and that, that, that would bring in a lot of money. They may have been since May or April of 2023. Remember, this is a, a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this, if it resonates, it resonates. But they've been doing something to drain you or to slow this down. They were, And that was a test for them. It was a test for this person as well as your ex. That's why Saturn Return came out. This was a flipping test and they're realizing this. That's why both of them are crying. That's why this person's, they're facing homelessness. Because the fourth house has come out. They were trying to affect someone's fourth house so badly. Their family life, their foundations, maybe even their core, like their back, their hips, their stomach. And it's gone back on them. This person may have really bad stomach issues. They may have IBS. They may have something wrong with their gut. <sighs> Oh my goodness, it says fated to suffer here. This person wants soul forgiveness now. They want soul forgiveness because they're realizing how misaligned they are. How misaligned they are. It says look at the bigger picture because this person was just looking at money and looking at themselves. Look at that giving and receiving with my app. They have, they were tested. Their commitment was tested and they were found to be wanting. Adjustments are acquired. Right it. You're getting good juju because you showed the world the real you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I was feeling really sad and sorry for this person at the start. Not anymore. I'm waking up to that. You got awakening here. Oh my gosh. You are leveling up, babies. You're literally leveling up. And this person is being seen. They're being seen for what they were doing. They're trying to hide. They're trying to hide. I won't cry for you. It's in reverse. This person is in tears and they know they can't take revenge. They know they can't take revenge because there's nothing to take revenge for. You haven't done anything. At the garden and the gate is what are you waiting for? They wanted you to resist something. They wanted you to resist something. What do they want resistance from? 
I heard from love. From love. And that's coming from this witch down here. Be bold and make the first move. They wanted you to run away. From what? From healing. Yeah, look, time for healing. This person has been busy, busy, busy with this witch work, seriously, to try and harvest something. Time to give rather than take. They. This is what I mean. This ex wants back what they had before. A, a relationship where they were leaning very much on someone in the collective, where the collective was give, give, giving before they found their own self-empowerment. And that's not ever happening again. That's not happening again. You've got a personal issue that re reaches resolution. This person is left out in the cold, like I said. Okay. This person over here is blocked. Wow. No cornucopia for any of them. I think I'm going to leave this here. No, one sec, one sec. Let's get this one out. Last one. Last one, I promise. Let's see what we've got here. I haven't given up. They have so given up. They literally have given up. Come home, baby is upside down. Mm -mm -mm. Anything else that needs to come out? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Anything else? Oh my goodness. I'm not ready. I'm still working on things. And I'm scared to take action in reverse. I don't even feel like that was um, your ex. I feel like there was something to do with whoever it is that's supposed to come in. They were trying to affect this. This person may also be going through some really rough patches themselves. I will always come back to my beloved. And I loved you the second I laid my eyes on you. I honestly feel like this is, um, this is an ex that's now realizing because remember we started off with this person just going over in their head, going over in their head, going over in their head. They're realising what they lost and what a fool they've been. But I heard they were never worthy. They were never worthy in the first place. See only love and it's upside down. I want to marry you, my love. And I'd said that at some point they may have wanted to marry someone here. And they quite happily took this tempting offer that had a high, high price for money to feed addictions. I'm overwhelmed with emotion and need some time and it's upside down. And that, that's more the energy that I'm getting from whoever it is that walked away. Because you rose, you raised, you raised your vibrations. You raised your vibrations and was like, no, I'm worth so much more. And good for you. Good for you. I'm going to leave it there. I hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity in what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated and, you know, you'd like to see more, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see just that and when I post. And if you are a returning subscriber, heart, kisses, stay awesome. I'll see you later. Bye.